resting on your toes. <laughs> uh, Salmonan, yeah. good morning. Uh, my name is Gwazom Kize. I'm from Kosovo College uh, in, in Bumbulu. Um, I'm a student for business process outsourcing. Yesterday, I must say, it was an overwhelming day to meet and to meet and see these people who, who every single every single Sunday uh, we watch them on television. Um, especially Colin Kuala, Professor Professor Shetra uh, Professor Friedman was an amazing experience. And what they said in in terms of, of Ubuntu and how we as people need to apply it in, in our daily lives really hit really hit hard for me. Um, as I took uh, as, as I was talking about Ubuntu, I, I thought of a country uh, Japan which they apply their culture in their business, in the way they do business. And I thought, why don't we also do that? As South Africa, we do have multi, we are a multicultural country, we are diverse, but we cannot, we, we, we fail to, to portray our diversity into how we operate business, how we operate into show, uh, social de uh, service delivery. Why don't we, we try to copy the ways or, or other countries? We, although we were the first country to have the black pre, uh, to have the uh, black president in, in, in Africa or in, in the world, um, but we do not use that to our advantage because now we we as as he is the black president, why don't we apply our culture and our knowledge, our background and our history in, into into the way we do business? Um, as what uh, Professor Shadrick go, go to said, uh, enlightened me the most, he said, we need to go back in order to, to go forward. <coughs> to find that fighting spirit that we have and put it back into our lives. Okay. Um, <laughs> did he tell us what he is done? Yes. He did? Yes. No. Yes. 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 What did he say? <laughs> Um, I said BPO, uh, yeah, business process also. Also, oh, you're also doing BPO, yes. so we've already been told what BPO is. Um, do you have questions for him? Please grill him. Come <laughs> 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 on, guys. Have a black president now, things are even worse than before. Mm. So, would you agree with that? If so, give me a reason. Mm. I personally do not agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> I personally do not agree with that because even if it was a, it was a, it was a white, a colored, an Indian, a black, a black president, it wouldn't matter. The, 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 what, what matters is that does the president deliver? On, you, on his promises. That's if he's if 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 that if that president for me, um, uh, for a, for example, an Indian would say, "I'm running for president, and this is what I'm promising." And if I vote for the if I vote for the president, um, what I, what I find in South Africa at this moment in time is that we 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 are our brains keep going back. To the times of the struggle. We are not moving forward. We must not be a movement, but a party. You know what I mean? We have already struggled. The struggle is over. We need to move on. We need to see change, real change, in our society and in our communities. And to, and, 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 and to have a person in power which and to have a person in power or in government because of their because they are black or they are white doesn't truly really matter. What matters is that does that person deliver at the bottom line? Does that does that person bring change, positive change, into the into the country? That's what I believe. Mean. I think we have all been your presidents. Okay, anyone else who wants to volunteer to say something? I think... Uh, no,